Hi guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. If you can tell, I went back Burnett again and I'm loving it. Um, so yesterday I reached out to you guys and was asking what I should film for my Wednesday video. It is currently Tuesday and I was drawing up Lank. And a lot of you guys requested a new get ready with me, which is perfect timing because obviously I redid my hair. I've been using um, a curling wand to curl it instead of a straightener. And I kind of switched over my makeup and I like to go a little bit lighter for the springtime. And this is all drugstore products. I think they're amazing. I do have high-end products, but I always end up going back to my drugstore products. They're just my favorite. So if you're on a budget and want to get this look, then definitely stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I always get started on is my makeup. And when I get out of the shower, this is what I put on my face and I like for it to just like soak in. So that is already on there. And then I do go ahead and brush out my hair and I part it to the opposite side. So like when I fix my hair, it's gonna be parted the other direction, but I like to like over direct it cause it will give more volume. So I brushed it, I've done that. Um, and then I'm going to start with my makeup. And like the title mentioned, this is going to be all drugstore makeup. I think their products are amazing. I love this Revlon Color Stay. I have it in the 310. Now I will go up um, as I get darker with the summer. But this is what I'm using now. If I look a little red, we spent some time out side this weekend and so I did get a little bit of a burn or a little bit red but I don't know if you can tell on camera. But I'm just going to squirt this on to my wet sponge and I will insert a clip right here of how I wet it because I think it makes a big difference in how it works. Um, so I put it underneath the water and I make sure it gets really wet and I keep squeezing it in and out. And then once I'm done doing that, I like to dry it off in the towel really well. Like I squeeze it in the towel to get any of the loose water out. Um, sponges, I like to get mine. I think you get some good deals on Amazon, so I'll link some. Um, I used to buy it from the Dollar Tree, but there is a difference. When I got these, I picked these up at like TJ Maxx, and I want to say it was like two for five, so they weren't super expensive, but they weren't a dollar. But they are so much softer, and it does make my makeup so much smoother. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. It's a little bright. Maybe that'll help so you guys can actually see the coloring some. But why I'm getting ready. So I'd asked over on Instagram what video you guys wanted. And I had a lot of suggestions. This get ready with me was one of them. Um, and since I had done my new hair, I thought it was perfect timing. I went ahead and decided for some change. Um... FYI, I'm just doing this a lot. I feel like it helps make it last all day if you really blot it into your skin. So as long as you can spend doing this, the better. Um, I don't know. There's something about... I don't dye my hair blonde that much anymore, but when I used to, I always wanted it blonde in the winter and brown in the summer. And that's like the complete opposite of what you're supposed to do. But now that summer's coming, I just... My brown's more me. It's easier to keep up with. I just feel like me more in it. So I went ahead and went back. Um, I asked for like a mahogany color because I know you guys will ask. But um, she put some violet in it. She said that will help keep the red the last longer. So that's what color it is. And then I will be answering a few other questions um, as I go because they were like video suggestions. But I can't do a whole video on them. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is this... Um, CoverGirl concealer and it's in 730. I've tried a lot of concealer, a lot of drugstore concealers, and this is by far my favorite. So I just put it underneath my eye, a little bit on my chin, and down my nose. And now, like, I was using this flat side to do my foundation. Now I'm going to flip it and use more of this, like, pointy side to put it in. So the other big question I had was Invisalign. Am I still doing it? What do I think about the process? 
So I'm on my second to last tray. So next week I'll get to switch into my last tray. So basically from right now I have about three weeks left and I'm supposed to be done. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous because they're looking really good. I'm really happy with the process. I'm really happy with how it's going, but I don't think they're gonna be exactly perfect. So I may have to do one more round. Um, which I don't think it'll be a long one because I think they're almost there, but I just don't know it's gonna be ready to go um, in three weeks. But fingers crossed it will be because I am over it. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Wet and Wild Contouring Palette. I love this, it's super cheap. I wanna say it's around $3. And I'm gonna take the same damp sponge and put it into the lighter shade and this is how I'm going to set my concealer. Plus, I feel like it makes it last longer because it's a little damp. And I feel like you see it a little bit more. I like to have like that brightness under my eye. I don't have really dark circles under my eyes like some, but I just like the brightness to kind of add contrast between all the shades I wear. So that's all I'm going to do. And you can put as much on or little. I will take a little bit and go ahead and put it right here. I didn't necessarily put foundation there, but since this is like wet powder, it'll still do the trick. Okay, so that part's done. Why I have this out, I'm going to grab like an angle brush. I picked these up from um, Target on clearance, but you can get some good ones. I have some good ones posted on um, my Amazon page, my storefront that I liked really well. Actually, may have liked them better because like the coloring, they were more white. And now I'm gonna like do your duck face and put it in those. This helps if you kind of want to camouflage. If you have a rounder face, I think it's really good to contour. And then I don't add any more, but I'll put it kind of like underneath my chin area. And once again, I don't add any more, but I'll squeeze this together and do a little bit on my nose. And then I'll go around it one more time. Okay, so now that I've got that done, okay, I'm gonna grab my powder. I really like this Fit Me by Maybelline. If you're looking for a good drugstore powder, I'm in that color 120. Like I said, all these colors are probably going to be a little light in a few weeks just because it's actually getting warm here. And then I just have a big fluffy brush. Once again, it was in that set from Target. Um, but I feel like drugstore makeup can work just as well. I bought some high-end makeup that I do like. Um, but it's almost a lot... I feel like it's harder on your face, especially in the summertime when you're going to be hot and sweaty. I just like a little bit lighter feel so it doesn't like clog my pores. And so this is what I've been doing. Just kind of putting it all over my face. I kind of like tap it in to this area where the concealer is so I'm not moving too much around. And then I like to do my blush. Once again, I just grabbed another. This is an angle. It's just another fluffy brush, but smaller. Okay, so I have problems with blush. The last blush I owned, I loved, but I swear I had it like a decade. Um, so I finally threw it away. And then I bought this one. I think I used this in my last Get Ready With Me. I don't love it. It's in color. I don't even see the color. But I went back and got this color, CoverGirl, and it has three shades in it. I love this one. I just feel like, um, I don't know if I just bought the wrong color in this one or what, but I like that I can kind of control the pink that I want. So when I don't want it as pink, if we're not doing much, I can make it more natural. Like I can stay on this side, but if I'm like going to church or, you know, going to do a video and I need more color, I can kind of adjust it really easily. So I'm really liking that color. Okay, the other thing I get questions about all the time, and there was tons of video suggestions, are my false eyelashes. Kinda the upkeep and all of that. I have these everywhere, because when she's done, she gives them to me. So really the only upkeep I do is every day I brush through them. Now when I shower, um, the days I'm not washing my hair, I keep them dry. And the days I wash my hair, I don't touch my eyelashes, but they do get wet. 
and so I can really comb them out while they're wet like that, but I don't use any products on my eyelashes. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. You can, I think you can buy mascara for them, but I don't. This is what I do. Most people go every three, I started going off every three weeks. Well, with me on camera, they get a little crazy by week three. But if you have like a smaller budget, um, you can just go every, you know, once a month, every three weeks and still have beautiful eyelashes. Um, or you can go and it's an hour or you can go every two weeks. So that's two hours a month. Well, since I'm on camera so much, I go once a week, but it's just like going twice a month because I only go 30 minutes. So I just go shorter sessions rather than like two long sessions. I do four short ones. And for me, that's the perfect amount to keep them nice and full. But all I do is kind of like, I go like this and spin it to get them to go up. And then I just kind of feather them out, just kind of like how you would mascara. But other than that, there's not much upkeep with them. They don't bother me. They don't like, when I wore false eyelashes, like the glue on kind, if I slept in them, they would like crinkle and look funny. These have never done that. Um, I don't try to like sleep on them, obviously. Like I try to prop my head up because it keeps them lasting longer from falling out. But as far as upkeep, I get that a lot of like, what do you have to do to upkeep them? Nothing. You brush them daily with this and they give this to you. They'll give you a new one every time because they use it on your lashes. I do have, Chase bought me this. I don't use it often, but it's not really a mascara. It will darken them. So if I've done a lot of eyeshadow and they're, you know, kind of like white powdery, I can put this on it. It's like a runny, I don't even know if you'll be able to see. Yeah, you can't. It looks like mascara, but if I rub it, it's like watered down mascara. Like you can't even see it there, but it will add darkness. I can show you. It will make them a little bit darker, but it's not mascara. Like I don't even have to wash this off. It's just kind of good for them. It kind of wets them and smooths them out, makes them a little bit darker. But that's all I got on my fake eyelashes or like eyelashes extensions. I love them. I can't imagine going without them. Um, not every day do I put mascara on the bottom, but if I'm going to be wearing a lot of makeup, I kind of like to have it for different looks. This is just the e.l.f. brand I picked up. Now this may not work if you're doing like all your eyelashes, but since I'm just doing my bottom, it's just, it's perfect. I like it. I like the wand. It puts a lot of product on there. Like that. Sometimes I do have this one lash that falls down, so I have to put it back up. Okay, eyebrows. I don't have to do anything with eyebrows. I was blessed with these like bushy eyebrows, <laughs> so I don't do anything. Sometimes if I get makeup in them, I'll take that same, like I have extra ones and I'll just kind of like brush them out, but that's all I do. The next thing for my eyeshadow in like spring, I don't go as dark. In the winter, I like to wear all these like dark blues and grays. This is from the Dollar Tree and I really like it. In the summer, I go more natural. I feel like you're outside. Your makeup's probably melting off your face if you're like Oklahoma. So I just go back to my contouring palette. And these are actually the set of brushes I have linked in my store that I love. Um, it comes with the whole set, but I just take a big fluffy brush for my eyebrows and I put this all over my eyelid from top to bottom. And then I go in with an angled brush, you can see, and I just take that darker color and I put it right there in that crease. I don't even go all the way over. I just kind of put it in the corner on both sides and I just feel like this is a more natural look but yet you still get a little definition and color on your eye. You can do this with any bronzer or anything like that. I just this one's cheap and you can get it at like Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, you name it. Okay so there's my eyes. Now lipstick I get tons of questions about my lips. In the winter and stuff, I do wear these. And now if I'm going to church, I'll still put this on or date night. Or if I'm going somewhere, I don't want to have to worry about my lipstick because it does stay on. I'll show you guys the color because I get lots of questions. 
these are the colors. Um, but if we're just going to be at home and just around the house or just playing outside, I really like these. It is like a lip stain, so it doesn't come off super easy, but it doesn't last as long as like the other kind. Let's see if I can get that to focus. So I really like having some of these. They're cheap. I will say I do keep one of these in my purse because you will have to touch up after you eat. But if you have like these, you won't have to just stay on all day. But it's a lot thicker. I feel like this is a little bit lighter um, for summer, a little bit more spring, not as heavy. Once again, we're just outside a lot in the heat. So this is my makeup look. They're all drugstore products. I think they work just as well. If you need a highlighter, this is the one I use. I don't use it much in the summer. Um, but yeah, that is it. Now I will get working on my hair. Let me clean out my mess. <laughs> don't like having it around me. As far as my hair dryer, this is from like TJ Maxx Home Goods. It's nothing special. It's just a hair dryer. And when I blow dry my hair, I first like to go by flipping my hair over for volume and then I'll blow dry it this way and then I'll finish up by doing the actual side that I'm going to leave it on. So now I'm going to start that. We are who we are. Why don't I be me and you be you? We're spreading color around us. We're lighting up the sky, it's what we do. We should. Okay, and once I get done blow drying it, I just kind of like to brush it out. So when I curl it, it's not all tangled. I use a wet brush and really like it. Okay, and as you can tell, like I've already got a lot of volume and that's just from blow drying. So like throwing your head around like a crazy person really helps get you volume. Um, I did forget to mention, I did use a heat protector. I don't think this is drugstore though. Um, I bought this from my hairdresser, but I want to say it was like, it was around 10 bucks. So it wasn't a lot and it lasts forever. I've had this a long time and I've still got like that much left. So it's really good. Just while we're talking products, this is the dry shampoo I use. Um, this is really good even if you need like a little bit of texture or want to add more volume to your hair. You could always do that. Um, this is the normal version. I can't really use it on my hair. I keep this as like a backup, but it comes out white. And when you put that on dark hair, you see it. It looks like I'm turning gray. So I like this one. As far as hairspray goes, I buy this one from Walmart. It's just a suave one and it's really good. But then I picked up five of these at Ross. When you see Ross deals, you have to buy them because they'll be gone. But I really like this one and it was only $3.99. So like I said, I went ahead and picked them all up and I'll just save them and use them as I go. So I'll probably be using those two products. And then all of you guys convinced me finally to buy a wand. I curl my hair every day. So I started researching it on YouTube and it did just look like a different curl. So I picked this one up from um, Target. You can tell that's my go-to place lately. I'll link it. If I can find the link, I'll put it down in my description box or on my Amazon store. I love it. It does such a different curl. I guess when you go to think about it, the girl I was watching, which I don't remember who it was, um, when you're using your straightener, you're doing like your straightener hair and curling it. Versus when you're wrapping it around this, it's actually like wrapping the motion. It's not straightening it. And so it's supposed to be better on your hair. It's supposed to last longer, which I agree. The curl holds longer. So if you don't like wash your hair every day, you don't have to fix it the next, next couple days. Like I'll just come in here, brush through my curls and spray this in it and I'm good to go. So I'm going to teach you guys how to do it. You guys can kind of see my hair color more here. Um, I really like it. It's really pretty in person. Um, when I have my dark hair, I really like to add pink to my lips. So that's kind of why I switched my lipstick out too. Not that you won't see the other one, but I just think it's for something different. Now, when you buy this, they also give you this like glove. 
and I did use this the first like three to five times and it's so you don't burn your fingers when you're doing it but now that I have it figured out I'm pretty good to go so I section my hair off I don't have super thick hair but it's enough that I don't like all my curls getting tangled and I don't curl this side as well just claimer at the very front I I can curl this side better but what I do is I just take it this is on and heated and I literally just take a section and I wrap it. Sometimes I roll it up even more, depending on how high you want your curls to start. And then you just hold it here for a second. Um, once I get this going and I show you guys, I'll talk about, oh, I had a lot of questions about how my laser hair removal, like at home system's going. I'll talk about that here in a second. So just pull out another section, wrap it and hold. So I'm on this, so tomorrow will be my fifth laser treatment, and I'm starting to see a difference. So you have to do it at least 12 times, so it's still pretty early, I'm not even halfway done, and I'm seeing a difference. Like it's starting to bald, it's not coming in as quickly or as thick. Um, so, so far I like it. I will give a full review like when I'm done or when I'm done with the 12 weeks so you guys know because a lot of you guys were like, yes, let me know if it works. I want to try it. I know the darker your hair is and the lighter your skin is, the better it works. So, that's why I'm not like doing my legs yet because I actually want sun on them. We'll be taking a trip in May and I want my legs to be dark. <laughs> So I've been sitting out in the sun, so I didn't start my legs yet. I'll redo those, or I'll do those next winter. But like my underarms and stuff like that, you don't really tan anyways. So that's why I'm going, going ahead and starting. So as you guys can see, this moves pretty quick. I will say I'm a little bit faster at my straightener, but I think that's just because I did it for so many years. I'll eventually get just as quick as this but I love the curl so much better it's just like a fun loose and like it's not yet I'll brush them out here in a second but it's just such a more natural I don't know I want to say fun what's a fun curl what's an unfun curl <laughs> but I really like it and this is just a cheap um wand I didn't do anything expensive I think it was originally like $29.99 and I got it for $26.99 but it's not like I spent a lot on it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up. When I get to the other side, I'll show you how I do that side. Okay, before I move on to the next side, I like to go ahead and give this a spray. Now, don't touch these. Why it's hot, if you were to run your fingers through it, you would lose a lot of that cur um, curl, so let it cool. So I just put it in the back, and then I'm gonna start on this side over here. Sometimes, you'll probably see me, I normally break this up into about three sections, since the majority of my hair is parted on this side of my head. There's a lot more hair, and there's a lot more, um, different lengths to curl like different layers so once again wand and I hold it like down so I'm gonna go behind my head and then wrap it and I don't know if it's just the angle of this better and I do try to keep the wand more up and down I don't I don't know if it'll make a difference but I try to keep it more um, straight up and down and I don't know if it's the angle I'm holding it that I get better curls or if this side of my head it just likes to curl better but I always like this side a little bit better maybe it's just that it has more hair too I don't know okay I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up again Doing what 
Okay, for this top part, I don't try to curl the whole entire piece and I don't try to curl it even like as tight. They are shorter pieces. So I start it down a little bit lower so that it's not crazy tight up around my face. And then you may not hold it as long. So if you guys are wondering how long I hold it here, I kind of it kind of depends on how big of a chunk you're grabbing. So if you're wanting to grab like really big chunks, you're obviously going to hold it there longer so the whole hair can heat up. And then if you're grabbing really small ones, if you're wanting tons of little curls, you won't hold it near as long. So, and I do a little bit of both just to kind of add different looks in there and different size curls and kind of different type of curls. Some are a little bit tighter, some are a little bit looser. I think it looks a little bit more natural so that's what I'm doing and as I get closer to my face I'm not curling as much I don't want it like real tight across my face so they kind of get more natural so here's my last section I'm gonna start down really low and just kind of do this end part and if it doesn't curl, all you have to do is take that same piece and just re-put it through. But see how like it doesn't start until down here? I mean, you can start higher if you want. That's just not the look I'm going for. So I'm going to spray this side and let it cool off. But I'm going to bring this side back forward and just kind of run my fingers through it. Just to kind of make it look more natural and flowy. Do you see that look versus like how tight that is? I like more of this look. And then I'm going to spray it. That side's good. This one I'm going to let set just a little bit longer. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to talk to you guys about. I showed you all my products. They're all super cheap. You guys can get this look for super cheap. It does not take a ton of money. It's just the products you use and how you use them. So don't let anybody else tell you that. Okay, and that's my look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. I always hope you leave with like a new tip or you learn something new. That's kind of why I'm here. So let me know if you did learn something new. Tell me about it down below in the comments section. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Doing what you do, doing what you do.